Yeah, speaking of foolish. Tammy Bruce, president of Independence Women's Voice. She's not foolish at all, and she joins us tonight. So occasionally, Tammy, as you know, we like to just think things are moving so fast here in Washington. No, it's good to just pause and remember what the world looked like six months ago. Yes. People were touting this man as the women's candidate. Oh, boy. You yeah. Know, the, the only thing missing from Mr. Avenatti's uh, lineup there is that he hasn't eaten dirt yet. I mean, maybe he can add that in and steal a little bit of that from, from uh, Robert time. Francis. He's got some time. Uh, uh, look, w what I really enjoyed and what was very important about your initial coverage of, of this uh, fool was the fact that he appeared to be exploiting one of yes. his clients, Stormy Daniels, right? Is that he was making money from her and she was reduced to doing tours of strip clubs in the yes. process of him representing her. And th that, that's what it spoke to. It spoke to issue, but, but issues of character. But if I can just pause, he, yes. he d and I said that to him, and I've always felt sorry for her. Right. I've never doubted most of her story, just sure. for the record. I'm not embarrassed to say that. Right. And I feel bad for her. And right. I said that to him, and he said that her stripping in some sad club in Richmond, Virginia, was an act of female empowerment. Right. He actually said that. Yeah, and, yeah, well, obviously not. Uh, the, you know, when you're seven years old, yeah, would you show me a seven-year-old who says, when I grow up, I want to be stripping at some club, exactly. you know, on a, on a rural road in, in Virginia. No girl says that. That's not what we aspire to. Right. Miss Daniels has an opportunity to remake herself. Uh, she's had problems with him as well. And look, if, if all of the charges against him are true, this guy is like the zealot of criminals. I mean, he's like trying, <laughs> he's trying to adjust or would seem to be involved in so many different kinds of, of behaviors and, and, uh, and crime. But it could be explained by a comment he made to The View that uh, they asked him inexplicably, somehow it moved into what his sexual fantasies were, and he said they all involved handcuffs. So now it looks like he's gotten one part of his dream fulfilled. Even we always get what we want in the end, don't we? A, a you do. You just watch out for what you wish for because you just might get it. <laughs> the zealot of criminals. Uh, you know, it's not like, like he was adapted to everything around him. And this fellow seems to be in competition with somebody. But uh, it's it, look for all of us. I just wish that this would he, maybe he, he would have been the perfect Democratic candidate. Yeah. Only if all of this then came out in the spring of 2020. It, it would have been even better. It would be, uh, it would be unbelievable. I'm yeah. stealing that line, Tammy. All right. Great to see you tonight. Thank, Thank you very you, sir. much.